uh, have never seen that. Uh, so it certainly is a very, uh, a very generous act uh, by these local citizens. The Red Cross evacuation shelter is nearly empty. Volunteers set it up to help people force it out of their home with little notice. Carissa Join saw these images and how lives were being changed. It motivated her to show up here Tuesday and pay for 28 evacuees, essentially 10 families, to stay in a hotel. When we got there, we found that there were um, several people that just really, being in the shelter was not an ideal situation for them. Um, so one lady was visually impaired, another one needed to use a medical device when she sleeps. She says it's something she hoped someone would do for her if she had to evacuate. Personally, I've been in situations in my life where I would not have had the resources to handle a situation like this. If it had come up, it would have been you know, very devastating to me. And so just knowing that that's, you know, that's people's situations sometimes for no fault of their own and not wanting someone to be in a situation where they had to be concerned about their family safety or whether or not they were going to be able to you know, pay their bills.